Hey folks, Naz here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in our Season 5. Alrighty, so in the last episode we ended up talking to Unigost uh, and finding out about this little love triangle between Jordan and Unigost and Castrel. Kestrel? Maybe it's Kestrel. Um, which was uh, kind of a little bombshell. Uh, you know, there was a uh, love child involved and it was stillborn and all this good stuff. So anyway, um, I think what we're going to do in this episode, we, st we have the Elwyn story three. We can go talk to Elwyn. So maybe we'll go talk to Elwyn real quick and then we will head out to Sambor and talk to Sambor because obviously we're going to be getting the rest of possibly the rest of the story on Castrel, Castrel um, from him. Now it's already a little bit late in the day. So what I am going to do, we've only got a, a couple hours before I can sleep, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll head over towards uh, Gustovia. I will sleep the night, and then we will talk with Elwyn uh, first thing in the morning. So let me head over there. Uh, oh, before I do, walking along my little wall here, I've moved a few things in the village. As you can probably see, let me get back here so you can see everything. I used to have the work uh, shop right here, and then I had the market stall here. Uh, but I did have where the market stalls are now, because I put them down there. There was a little house there, and it was still only a three-person house. So I ended up taking that house down. I moved those people into another four-person house. Um, I've adjusted the buildings that were along here. I think we had the kitchen and the herbalist hut and stuff. So I've got the food storage here. I put a builder's hut there. It's not complete because I'm not sure if it's going to stay there. <laughs> Uh, I've added two more blacksmith stations or smithies down on the end there uh, because the kitchen and the food storage was down there. However, I've completely removed the kitchen out of the mining town. The kitchen is now over in the farming village. I actually have two kitchens over there. So that way um, they are going to be producing the meals uh, for everybody. So it'll be like they're producing it and the meals get distributed, you know, meals on wheels or something here. <laughs> or, or, or meals on hooves. There we go. Meals on hooves. <laughs> but anyway, I'm slowly but surely getting the village the way I like it. Um, I've been focusing more on the mining village because once I get this done, I can go and start focusing on other villages and organizing them a little bit better. Uh, I'm thinking about possibly adding another excavation shed. That way we can start bringing in more stone because right now I don't think I've got anybody bringing in stone except for myself. I go in the mine and I'll gather uh, copper and tin and I get stone from that. Uh, but anyway, let me go and head over to Gustovia and sleep the night and all of that good stuff. And we will talk with Elwyn. So I'll see you folks in just a minute. Alrighty, folks. It's the next day. We're in Gustovia, and here we got Elwyn right here. So let's go ahead and talk with him and see if we can advance his story a little bit. Hi. Hi, Elwyn. What's new with you? You look different. I've been thinking a lot lately about what I'm going to do with my life and what I truly desire. And I want to try something new. I would like to learn how to shoot a bow. It sounds like a very serious life decision. For me, it is. Would you help me find that hunter who sells bows? I don't know what awaits me along this trail. And you clearly know how to survive on the road. An unexpected journey, you say? Count me in. Great. Lead the way. We can also ask Philibor where the hunter exactly resides. Let's go then. Well, alrighty then, it looks like we're going to go see Philibor, and then we are going to go off to uh, Sambor anyway. So, we will see how this is going to work out. Are you going to be able to keep up there, Elwyn? Where's your horse? You're just going to run behind us. I mean, you got some quick legs there, buddy. 
Alrighty, let's go talk to Philibor. Alrighty, here we are in Borowu. Here comes Mr. Elwyn. And let's go in here and talk with Philibor. Let's kind of zoom in a little bit so we're not up in the rafters. Philibor, welcome. Hello, some time ago you mentioned that a certain hunter had bows for sale. Could you please tell us where we can find him? Yes, however, it's not him, but her. The hunter's name is Gisela. Oh, interesting. We're going to go see Gisela, not Sambor. Well, that's new. Uh, let's see. She lives far to the west in a village of Lesnica. Thank you. Let's move on. Uh, take care of the forests and on the road. I warn you, though, Gisela is quite has quite a temper. All right. Uh, let's see. We will watch our backs. Thank you for all the advice. Well, already then. Well, Elwyn, I'm used to Elwyn's story taking us to Sambor. At least that's how it was during, you know, testing and, and all of that good stuff. So they've changed that storyline up. Very cool. So now we get to go talk to Gisela, which makes sense because we've already learned that Sambor uh, is vegan, I guess now, or he's uh, not a hunter anymore. <laughs> Alrighty, well, interesting. So we need to head to Lesnica. What's going to be the best way to get there? Probably just cut through to Denica and then kind of cut around the mountain here and head off to Lesnica. So we'll kind of do that. All right, where's my donkey? There she is. Alrighty, Elwin. Hope you got your walking shoes on, buddy. We got a ways to go. We'll head off to Lesnica, and I will see folks when we get there, unless we see something interesting. We got a little abandoned camp here. Let's grab some of this stuff out of it. Leather, leather, fur, copper knife. I got the bow. There's an iron axe, something. Looks like something, but I can't see what it is. Maybe it's just part of the decoration on the ground. Oh, maybe it's a spike for one of the, one of the tents. Nothing in there that I can see. Iron arrows, there we go. More. I think I got them all. Alrighty, Owen. Let's keep going. Oh, 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 I see a campfire through the trees over there. Oh, uh, I think we got some bandits. Let's hop off our steed so she doesn't get hurt. Let's get our crossbow out. Let's see what we can see here. Looks like they're kind of barricaded in there a little bit, too. How many do we have? I see two there. <laughs> The more than two. It looks like I see two more sitting down. Alrighty. Can we get... I don't know who's going to be good to shoot here, but let's see if we can get this going. One down. Hot dog. Come on. Elwin, what are you doing, buddy? Well, we might have to pull out the axe on these guys. Oh, I missed him. Elwin, can you punch that guy in the face? <laughs> All right, let me catch him on the way back. All right, they, we got two down. All right, there we go. Get another one going here. Oh, are they coming back? They are. How did I miss that? Elwin, you're not helping, buddy. Alright, load up again. Come on. Get these guys down. There we go. Third one down. Uh, where's the other one? Alrighty, we got them down. Let's see what they uh, what we got on the bandits here. Ooh, I don't have a whole lot of weight to carry much. But we will take what we can. 
Okay, we got some food off of that guy. Wow, this guy's got a whole lot of stuff. Now, see, this is where it would be nice if we could just hit, like, a button and take all kind of a thing. We got 61 coin, mead, onion, roasted meat. Oh, he was eating well. He must have been the leader of the pack. That guy, and I think we got one guy in the camp. Yeah, he didn't even get a chance to do anything here. There we go, stone axe and stuff. Oh, there's a hunter coin there. Water skin, plum mead. What else? There's a knife. Oh, and buddy, you didn't help at all. How are you going to be some kind of a hunter and stuff if you don't even throw a punch? Better help me with them. Cabbage bandits is what this looks like. <laughs> it's a cart full of cabbage. All right. Anything else? What is that? The torch standing up on a stick? Okay. I'll take it. All righty. Let's head back to my little little donkey here, and we're going to finish loading up and get into uh, Denica. So I'll see you folks in just a second. All righty, here we are in Lesnica. Get off our trusty steed. Let's see if we can find Gisela. Looks like she's going to be in the hut over here. Gisela, here we are. What do you want? Hello, my friend. Elwyn would like to buy a bow from you. Did your friend lose his tongue? No, of course not. It's just that I'm more of a talker. You both get on my nerves instantly. <laughs> You're a perfect match, no doubt. Now, let's quit the jabber, lads, and get to the point. Show us your wares. Good. Now you're hitting the right note. Let's make a deal. Great. Alrighty. Now we're going to talk to Elwyn. Uh, let's see. Mr. Elwyn. I guess I'll have to go back and change clothes now. She seemed annoyed and probably didn't kill anything in a long time, or anyone. She is intimidating. Probably eats bears for breakfast. <laughs> well, you already have a bow. Experience will come in time. Here, take this. A few arrows from my recent acquisition. It's for helping me again. No problem, anytime. There we go. Elwyn has his bow and some new arrows, and he gave us a few as well. We annoyed Gisela. <laughs> and Elwyn is now on his way back home, I guess, to go change his clothes, apparently. Well, alrighty. Well, I think we're going to call this an episode. I don't think we're going to have time to go and talk with Sambor uh, since we're, he's clear across the map. And I have a feeling that's going to be a lengthy conversation again because we're talking to him about Kestrel. Uh, so we will save Sambor's quest for the next episode. But anyway, if you folks are liking these, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I greatly appreciate it and it helps the channel out tremendously. Uh, also, you can find the links to my Discord, Buy Me a Coffee, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, all down in the link below, or uh, in the description below, excuse me. And uh, we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.